Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and we are investigating a little, a little thing that's uh, something I've never looked at before. But people are kind of worried. Um, I'm not that worried. Once again, I think it's probably a normal execution. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I've seen some people saying, "Well, you know, scan now, SFC scan now, never worked well." I don't think it doesn't work well. I think we just don't understand how it works. It's once again, I, I talk about the event viewer because it's a perfect example. Too many people are going to the event viewer looking at error messages all the time. It doesn't matter. Event viewer will give errors on tons of processes that are working fine. It's just that the status of that process at the moment it was scanned or looked at does not reply back the correct info that the event viewer wants. It's not an error. It's not even a problem. It's just that it's the way some processes operate. I think the scan now is exactly the same. Is that when it says there's correct stuff that it fixed, I think it's mostly looking at something at the moment of Windows being used. Remember, a lot of files are opened up, used as Windows is working, that will maybe not look right for a process, but will be okay. So now we're in Windows 10, and I thought, let's do it on Windows 10. So scan, whoops, that's, that's not what I want. I want the command line, CMD, here we go. Run administrator. By the way, to verify my facts, I've run the scan now process before the video, restarted the PC, and now we'll be doing another scan now feature, and this one on Windows 10 on this older PC, so I hope it's not going to be too long, although it does have an SSD, so shouldn't be too bad. So I did a scan now before I restart the PC with Windows 10. Technically, that would mean that it shouldn't find errors, but I'm pretty sure it's going to give us the same error as there was in Windows 11, so it's probably not an issue. I, I think it has to do with simply the way that it scans, what it's looking at, and that's some uh, apps, some processes, some files are not reporting what it wants to. And it was going to say, well, I'm going to fix the problems. So uh, we'll see what this uh, Windows 10 scan here, which is kind of interesting. Um, you know, I've, like I said, I've never really used this command a lot. I use it when there's errors. I know some people are a little more into, you know, it's like Windows updates. I always tell people, you know, back away from Windows updates. It doesn't matter. Don't go crazy over it. Um, I know it's a source of stress and more on certain, um, you know, certain people. Some, some people focus more on stuff. Um, I think PC users, especially enthusiasts, um, you know, I'm, I'm also an amateur radio operator. And I often tell people, I think there's a, a wiring in our brain that is different from the general population when we're kind of a little too uh, intense on our hobbies and our and on our PCs and stuff. And, of course, that means that all of us don't see the same thing in the same way. So some people will go uh, and go, will worry about stuff that are a lot more um, due to their brain wiring the way they are than a lot of other people's so, you know it's like i don't worry about my pc stuff much i don't scan now all the time i don't you know check for errors i don't go to the event viewer um i'm in the you know uh, simply in the role of if everything works fine i have nothing to go and check it's the same thing that i always say you don't need any fixers you don't need to have tools that fix windows it's a big mistake to have all of those because those that have the most problems with Windows are those that try to fix everything they see, which should just 
be left alone. And um, I think a big chunk of users that have problems with Windows updates or with any type, you know, blue screens. Uh, I had one guy that said, you know, I stopped, uh, I stopped following you because, you know, you should talk about all the tools we need to fix Windows. And I replied back to his comments. It's like, well, I guess you're not really listening to what I say because you don't need tools. And the fact is that same person had several PCs that always had problems. And you know what? Leave your PC alone. Don't install tools that are unnecessary. Leave it alone. Don't worry about it. Windows works pretty good and pretty fine 99% of the time. It ain't blue screening. It ain't freezing. Unless most of the time some third-party um, code is creating issues. Drivers from the manufacturers, too much software and too much cleaning. Remember, playing with a registry is not normal. You could go and, you know, tweet a registry for something or a feature or, you know, something we talk about. But you don't need a registry cleaner. It doesn't clean anything. Every time somebody says, well, you know, it cleans the registry, it removes, it barely scratches the surface of what the registry is. It doesn't even clean 1% of it. And all it does is remove entries that were left behind, which, who cares? It doesn't make any, any difference on your PC. That's why I always say that. You know, it's like we got to stop worrying about, you know, going too deep in it and always saying, oh, there, there's always an error here. So I must have, I, I, you know, and people, I can see people spend hours and hours or days on the Internet trying to find a, fix for a problem that is not even a problem that doesn't need a fix so don't forget that so we're moving on 77 percent this this pc is a slower pc so uh, it's it's uh, typical that it takes a little more time but um it's going to be interesting if after after a uh, a scan a restart if it gives me still error messages if that does happen I don't think there's an issue. I think it's just the way that it scans and sees things. Um, it probably sees errors that are non-errors. And when it says, well, I'm going to fix it, it's probably trying simply to rearrange something that is fine the way it is. Um, it might not be a problem. So we are getting close to this. And, um, you know, uh, I think it's it's just telling everybody to stop worrying about, you know. I think enthusiasts are good at that, going too far, too deep in the system and thinking there's always something wrong, when in reality, no, it's okay. It's okay. And we are at 100 complete. And it says, found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Here you go. Once again. This same thing here happening. So I think this is simply a bad reporting of of non-issues and tells me one thing. You gotta stop doing that scan unless you have some issues. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, thank you for watching.